Welcome back to Fallout 1.5 Resurrection. So we're about to head to Albuquerque, but before that, let's just take a look at a couple things. Um, so I got my modded weapon back from the gun dealer. It used to hold, I think it was 24 shots, now it holds 100. So, pretty nice. You know, I think she said she's gonna, like, give me an extra mag sort of thing. I was expecting it to be literally just two times. Two times 24, but nope. It's got a freaking drum magazine or something. 100 shots is crazy. So that's pretty nice. Um, the other thing is I realized, why don't I give this really good shotgun to Carrie? I mean, she's already using a shotgun, and I'm sure her strength is probably at least six, since she's a melee kind of character anyway. So yeah, I should just give it to her. Never even thought about it. I wish I could see what her stats actually were, but I'm sure it's fine. Oh yeah, gold nuggets. I forgot, she's holding a lot of stuff. In fact, she might not even be able to hold this. Six pounds, can you take it? Oh, good, she can. Now, will she use it? Yeah, she does. Oh yes, I discovered something, by the way. I discovered where all my quests were disappearing to. So, quite a few times, I don't think I mentioned this, but I was thinking, like, it looks like I've run out of room, if only there was a way to go to, like, a next page. But I thought, okay, I guess there isn't, there's, there isn't another page, I guess. No, there actually is. It's these two little tiny arrows right here. Rather than, like, a next page button here or here or something. Instead, it's right here. That is so weird. Nothing particularly interesting here, just kind of what I already knew anyway, but it's good to know. So, let's go to Albuquerque. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is see if I can hitch a ride with Frederick Stream. I probably can't, because I think they're one caravan. Uh, well, I definitely missed the caravan to Albuquerque, but hopefully there's another one, but there might not be. Also... I don't think I need to go back and talk to this guy about the fact that I've discovered where their son is. But just in case, you know, maybe they'll take me to Albuquerque or something. Looks like they took him to Albuquerque. Um, they're gonna hurry, please. You have to find exactly where David is. Hurry up, we're gonna Okay. Yeah, just what I thought. There's no reason to go talk to him. Let's go try to Frederick Stream. Interested in the guard job. Come back on the 23rd of October. Okay, but wait, where is that leaving to? The routes are to Albuquerque and Korath for 400 caps. So, I'm not sure if the 23rd one is Korath and the 9th one is Albuquerque. Um, I don't know. Let's see. Let's wait until the 23rd. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. So how's everyone doing out there? Just gonna wiggle back and forth and have a sip of my tea. Got a feeling this one is the one to core off. second. I think I... Did I miss it? Ah, oh, there we go. I want to get hired as a caravan guard. Do you want to go to Korath or Albuquerque? Oh, okay. So you can go to whichever one. Let's go to Albuquerque. Oh, 
I think what's probably gonna happen is we're gonna, yeah. Oh my god, that's a fucking death claw. <laughs> I might die before I get a chance to do anything. Nope, okay. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Should I just run? I mean, unless we kill it this turn. Eh. Let's see what happens. I think it's going to do crap damage, right? <laughs> oh god, nine points. It's not even a deathclaw. It's a tough deathclaw. It might be like a mini-boss deathclaw or something. But yeah, I've got AP rounds loaded in this thing, so... Not surprisingly, it doesn't work very well. I wonder if you get a bonus for killing all the enemies and none of the caravan guards being hurt. You shot a Brahmin, dude! Yeah, I'm dead. I wonder if this is scripted. Like, I wonder if it's always the same encounter. Oh, yeah, let's change out my ammo, I guess. Please don't spawn me two feet from a deathclaw. Oh, but whoa, what is that? Well, it's a ghoul, apparently, but I mean, what the hell is it wearing? That's some really good armor. Ghoul who evidently wants you dead. Indeed. Well, I don't have AP rounds loaded, so I'm gonna go for the ones that don't have crazy armor on. Come on, carry. Nice. Using that new weapon. Oof. Come on, we can do this. Let's get him. Just getting my distance. Don't kill the Brahmin. All right, two down. Good. Nice! How much was that for? 89 hit points. All right. Well, I could load up the other type of ammo, but why don't I just use my sniper rifle? Chance to hit's probably pretty bad. I'm gonna get closer, actually. I'm gonna go for the eyes. Nice. 91 hit points! Damn! They gotta be almost dead. Almost dead, crippled limbs. Good. We got this. They're almost dead, so I'm gonna go for the head. Nice! We've lost the leader. Damn it. Hope that doesn't hurt anything. Alright, I'm especially curious what loot you have. Sniper rifle! That's what they were using. It's worth a hell of a lot of money. Damn it. Hmm. Sniper rifle is worth so much. What the heck can I dump? I don't think carry can really hold much of anything. Hold on, carry. What do you got? Gold nuggets are heavy but valuable. Does she have anything heavy but not valuable? I mean, I guess that's not very valuable. That's certainly not valuable. I don't think it weighs much either, though. Basic shotgun, not very valuable. 
Gonna keep the robes. I don't think we need the hollow disc anymore. I'm gonna dump that. Damn it, I can't even carry this. Alright, I just gotta dump some of my stuff, I guess. Dump that. Okay, I don't think I need the note anymore. I've already got the quest. How much does that weigh? One pound? I'll dump it. Good stim packs. Don't have weight. Keep that, keep that, keep that. Definitely gonna keep that. Ooh, that rope is 10 pounds. But one of these days, I'm gonna find a use for it, right? Maybe? I don't wanna get rid of it, but fuck me, it's heavy. Alright, I'll dump one of those, and I guess I'll dump the rope. They have a sniper too? Oh. They all have snipers. This is just a gold mine. Okay, how much does a sniper weigh? 10 pounds. How much does this weigh? 5 pounds. So, 2. I can get rid of 2 Desert Eagles and fit 1 sniper. I'm, I'm sure 1 sniper is worth more than 2 Desert Eagles. Stump them all. That's all the weapons I got. If I can dump two more pounds, I can fit two sniper rifles. Yeah, I'll dump those. I don't think I need them. Yeah, I'll dump this ammo too. Okay. Sniper rifles don't stack. Oh, I think it's because they're loaded, maybe. One's got six shots, four, and five. Is that it? Oh yeah, that's the reason. That makes sense. Okay. Oh yeah, the leader. Is it bad form to loot the body of the leader that you're protecting? I'm just gonna leave it. I don't think it matters, but they don't have that much anyway. Well, here we are. Here's your 400 caps. Losing people is never easy, especially losing the leader. She was a fine woman. Anyway, we must get back to set it. If you come with us, you'll get another 400. Nah, I'm here to stay. Um, how long will the caravan be staying here? Leave one day after arriving. Okay. I'll go back with you, but first I want to take a look around. I mean, am I going back with you? I guess I should go back to transport the kid back, huh? Stop. I haven't seen you around here before. What do you want in our city? I want to find out what this sign is. Show him the talisman. Great. Can't be all that bad if you killed one of those damned ghouls. We mutant hunters can appreciate that. You can get a nice reward for that talisman. Wait, seriously? I just... I've thrown out like so many talismans. Shit. What reward? You can ask the guard in front of our base. That's where they buy them off. What meaning does the talisman have? Why the fuck should I care? All I need to know is that every ghoul belonging to a certain group of troublemakers wears one. If that's not exhaustive enough for you, you'll learn more in our base. I only care about the fucking ghouls when they're within the range of my gun. Jesus, what a meathead. Alright, where's your base? In our quarter of the city, the locals call it Hunter's Territory. 
Can I pass then? Yeah. But don't make any trouble for the hunters, or we'll shoot you like a filthy mutant. Can I ask you a few things about the city? Okay, but keep it short. I'm not a freaking guide. I'm in charge of defending this place. Who's in charge here? We, the mutant hunters, are in charge. If we weren't, this whole city would have gone to hell just like the rest. Well, the inhabitants of the vault have their emperor, but since you're never getting into their part of town anyway, there's not reason to give a fuck. Inhabitants of the vault have their own emperor. Sounds interesting. What people live here? Most of the refugees that gather here in the suburbs come from cities and villages destroyed by ghouls. We got all sorts of fuckers here, from dumbass tribals to people from pretty big cities. No mutants, though. Don't worry. Anything interesting in the city? You should definitely visit the Wild Paradise Inn across the street near our base. And there's a hospital in the dead quarters if you need healing. The doctors there are a suspicious bunch of fuckers, though, so I wouldn't risk it. <laughs> okay. Hmm. What is this place? Albuquerque? Yep. How did it originate? The vault dwellers just crawled out of their hole and started living on the surface. And we're here since they couldn't protect their lazy asses by themselves. They let us build a base here, and in return we get to entertain ourselves by defending the city and such. And who are you? We're mutant hunters? Yep. Care to elaborate? <laughs> I'm not big on talking, no shit. Know about any work? Mm, if you're really worth something, you'll join us. We're always looking for pure, pure humans willing to fight. Pure. Mm. I don't think I want to fight for these people. Okay, I think I'm done. Can I rest? Damn it. I want to pass time until it's light, but I probably shouldn't. I don't want the caravan to leave. Ah, whatever. I can't stand it. Uh, wait, what? Where am I? Um... Ah, there's Albuquerque. It's not that far away. I mean, it's pretty far away. You move pretty slow. Okay. Uh... Who's I supposed to talk to about David? I don't really remember. Just take a look around, I guess. There's the tribals. Woof, woof! <gasps> woofer! I found another woofer! Why does outsider disturb Gurgen? Is the rest of the town too small for her? Gurgen's tent is a good place, but it is meant only for him and his dogs. Outsiders should find her own. That's not the reason I'm here. Just wanted to know who's in charge. Outsider is curious indeed. Gurgen leads the tribe. He is the chief. What does Outsider want from him? Just want to ask you a few questions. Very well. Outsider may ask. Gurgen will answer. <laughs> the way they talk is so silly. 
How'd you get here? That is not a pleasant tale. Gurgan's tribe suffered much, much misfortune. He falls silent. Once, Gurgan's home was far away from here. On, on Ancestor's land, there was a river nearby, and much game. The tribe was mighty then, ruling over other tribes. But then came a disaster. Burned people attacked and killed most of the tribe. Only a few escaped. Gurgan led them. He decided to find a safe pl I mean, come on, no one who talks in the third person like this. This is so silly. Yes, this is exactly how tribal people talk. Oh, uh, but yeah, it looks like they were attacked by the ghouls. Okay. How do you make a living? Mm-hmm, they don't help. They don't like them. Uh, they hunt geckos. Yeah, they hunt geckos and trade the hides from them. Okay. Ooh. Uh, the hunting's threatened now. Many hunters do not come back from the hunt, and Gurgan does not know what would have happened to them. What could have happened to them. If it goes on, the whole tribe will perish, so it looks like I can help them figure out what happened in the last hunt that made them disappear. Interesting. Alright, I want to help them, but uh, before that, let me try to solve the whole David thing. Yeah, let me try to just, like, laser focus on the... Uh, woofer. Let me try to laser focus on the David thing, and then bring him back, and then come back here and do other quests. There's a kid. Are you David? David? I really don't remember where David's supposed to be, and the quest does not help. It just says, find him. <laughs> Gee, thanks. Welcome to Alvarez's, uh, Alvarez's Wanderer. That's me, and I trade with everything and everyone. Strangers, locals, caravans. Anything your eyes see here is for sale. Uh, some questions. I'm not opposed to trading anything, even information. For 300 caps, I'll tell you everything I know about the city whenever you stop by. Many people come to me, and I overhear much. Trust me, it'll be worth it. Ooh. I mean, they do hang around the entrance. Maybe they know about David. Maybe they saw something. Alright. Hmm, seems not. Who rules this town? Could say that it belongs to the Empire, but the mutant hunters are really in charge here. The Empire must be the Vault Dwellers. In case you didn't already know, there's a vault numbered 16 below the city. Descendants of those who lived there founded the Empire. They don't care about us, though. They're holed up in their proud city, as they pompously call it. And why should they care, when they have everything? And the hunters? Yeah, pretty straightforward. They just kill anything that's not human. Okay. Tell me about this quarter. Wasteland is full of rampaging ghouls destroying everything they find, so people here in the suburbs are mostly survivors of their attacks. We're all from different cities, but we stick together because we have to share this place with an assorted collection of all the scum that the wastes have to offer. Anything from tribals to various thieves and murderers. Mm, people from the cities. Mm. Wait. It's terrible. The ghouls are destroying even the large cities now. Albuquerque is the last city in this area that's still standing, and to the hunter's credit, it's mostly thanks to them. We're all from different cities, but we stick together. Mostly thanks to William. Tell me about William. William lives not far from here. The two-story house is his. His people protect us, or try to, in order to protect his investments. See, he has an agreement with the caravan companies from Sedit. Thanks to that, they come here loaded with trade goods, and the people here can at least get a job loading and unloading the caravans. William is fairly rich, so he can afford much. Hmm. I wonder if William would know something about the kid, then. I'm talking about the tribals... I'm not even going to read, I'm just kind of seeing if there's like any extra options that pop up. Thieves... Okay, here we go. A guy named Vex founded a gang here from former raiders and the like. 
They rob the locals or collect protection money from them. Even William hasn't been able to disperse them yet, so you can see how dangerous they are. Alright, where's Vex? Took over the large ruin in the northern suburbs. Okay. What places are worth visiting? Ah, oh, my shop. Mm, wild paradise in the hunter's territory for entertainment. Okay. Medical treatment. Okay, I already heard about that. Okay. Any work? Ah, William has a job for me. Any other work? Chief of the Tribals? Okay, I already seen that. Any other work? Hospital? Okay. Catherine. Every time I see her, I can see on her that something is troubling her. Maybe it's something you could help with. She lives in the house next door. But even if she does talk to you, don't expect much of a profit. She can't afford it. Okay. Mm -mm. Alright, what have you got? Because I have a lot to trade. Electronic lockpick, hello. Defeating electronic locks. I don't entirely know what that means, to be honest. Is that used for the locks pick skill still? Or is that used for the science skill? How does... I don't know, but I want it. That's not even that expensive. Actually, yeah, I've got three snipers. I don't have to take stuff from Karen to be able to afford it. Let's get that. Um, I'll get these for Karen. Or, not Karen, Carrie. Sorry, Carrie. I don't need more of that. I need AP rounds. But not hollow point. Ooh, expanded lockpick set. So it's a better version of what I got. Right? Also includes some special tools for more difficult mechanical locking mechanisms. Yeah, so it's just straight up better. And a thousand caps, alright. How many snipers do you want? One? Two snipers. You can have two snipers. Give me all your money. Wait, are you kidding me? That's perfect? Oh my god, look at that. This is literally perfect. On the dot. Oh no, it's not on the dot. Never mind, I'm offering them a hundred more. Oh well, that's fine. Catherine lives next door. What the hell is next door? Do these count as buildings? I mean, they're just bombed out. Maybe it's probably here. Yeah, that's gotta be here. Ah, I'm supposed to be focusing on David or whatever his name is. Ah, screw it. What are you doing in my house? Go away. Who are you? I'm Catherine. I doubt I'm the person you were looking for, so please leave. Alvarez mentioned that something seems to be troubling you. What is it? Alvarez should mind his own business and keep his nose out of mine, and so should you. But perhaps I could help. I doubt you could help me, even if you miraculously gained access to the Imperial City. What the hell's the Imperial City? I don't know what it is, but I have access to it, sure. Outsiders are only allowed there on invitation by one of the dwellers, and I doubt anyone would invite you. Get out of my sight, liar. Damn it, she called my bluff. <laughs> As you wish. Okay, good, I can still talk with her. So I guess once I get an invitation, I can come back to her. Hello. My name is Rena. What's yours? Sophie, what are you doing here? We don't usually have guests. Why not? Mommy doesn't like it. She doesn't want strangers here. Why? 
I mustn't tell. Not even me? No. Okay. I tried. Okay, let's go speak with William and see if they know anything about David. Are you David? The old man gives you a quizzical look. I don't believe I've seen you before. And I know almost everyone around here. Who are you? Speak up. My name is Rena. I haven't been too long in the city. I'm William. I suppose you heard of me before. The other immigrants tend to see me as their leader, but that has never been my intention. Let's just say that I have certain power here, and I'm the only one with enough bottle caps able to keep some sort of peace in the area. He makes a dramatic pause. A uh, dramatic pause. Tell me, what is it that you want from me? I can't even ask him about the kid. I really don't know where I'm supposed to look for the kid. I totally don't remember. Tell me more about your community. How'd you get here? Uh, yeah. Just places were destroyed. They migrated here because of the ghouls. What do you do here for a living? Oh, he's not talking about himself. He's just talking about, like, people here in general. So, nothing interesting there. Okay. Uh, before you go, there's one thing you should know. You can come by any time, but for your own sake, keep away from the first floor. My two wives, Doreen and Penny, live there, and I really don't like it when someone bothers them. I hope you catch my drift. Um. Okay, they sound very creepy and controlling. How's that working out for you? He frowns. That is something you needn't worry about. Goodbye. Okay. Well, um, I guess I'm just gonna see if I can go up the stairs. Is somebody gonna stop me? Haha, <laughs> fuck you. No, oh, there's a guard here. That's true, I don't, but I don't care. Hello. I haven't seen you before. And you don't look like one of William's people. That's a pleasant surprise. Who are you? I'm Penny, William's wife. Did you know he doesn't like strangers visiting us? You must be very brave to come here despite that. Well, I already know about us, but I'll ask that anyway. Uh, Doreen's the other wife. How do you two get along? We get along well, and William wouldn't have it any other way. Ooh. She likes my older sister. It's true that she's a bit different from me. We don't have much to talk about. What do you know about Los Al uh, Alamos? I don't really know anything. William and Doreen came from there, but they don't want to talk about it. Maybe because it was destroyed by ghouls. Who wants to talk about something like that? Tell me about William. My husband is a great man. He helps the other immigrants as much as he can. And if anyone says otherwise, he's just wrong. I'm glad for every moment I can be with him. I just wish he'd appreciate me more. She sighs almost imperceptibly. In more than one meaning. What? What else did you have in mind when you said William doesn't like strangers visiting you? Wait, what? I think I just broke the conversation. Uh, I just kind of led in a circle. Oh, woofer. Always blocking the doorway. Oh, actually, Carrie's blocking the doorway. Yeah, this guard just doesn't care. It's like, you shouldn't be up here. <laughs> They're not stopping me. Alright, Doreen. 
Do Doreen? What? Doreen? Mm-hmm. Penny. How do you get along with her? Okay. Uh, he's very thrifty. He doesn't give us much, but might give a small gift to the one that shows more affection. What? What do you... Mm. I believe Penny's just pretending, merely trying to get something. I doubt she has any feelings for him. I, on the other hand, you know, I don't have a lot of choice in Los... I didn't have a lot of choice in Los Alamos, but William was at least someone who could take care of me. And all those years created a certain bond. Tell me about this Los Alamos. Ghouls destroyed it. Mm-hmm. How's life in Albuquerque? Don't like it here. Tell me about Penny. Just go talk to her. All right. What about William? Only cares about business. It's so strange. This conversation is just like leading circles. So who's this in here? Oh, it's just like the main bedroom, I guess. Okay, so is William going to shoot me? Like if I talk to him, Carrie, you're always in the way. Come on. Huh? Doesn't even mention it. Okay, I guess we're fine. I was expecting there'd be some plot with that, like talk with them and, I don't know. They want you to like get them out of there or something. Or they hate William, but... Nothing yet. Maybe later. really want to solve this David Carpenter thing, kidnapping, before I leave and do anything else. Let's just start looking in buildings, I guess. A man? Perhaps a man knows something about a boy. Damn it. There's a boy. David? That's not David. Hmm. Sewer entrance. One, oh. Whoa. You. He points his knife in your direction. I don't know you. What are you doing here? And who the hell are you, anyways? I feel like that might be the entrance to Vex and the gang. Uh, who's asking? Vex, you're surrounded by my people, not to mention you're on my turf, so spit it out. Who the fuck are you? Hey, I'm just exploring the town. Get out of here. Alright. Alright, let's move on to the next quarter, or whatever this is. There's the hospital. Oh, the hospital's pretty big. Just trying to see if there's anywhere obvious. I don't know. Some caravan-y place. Some place where caravans would come in. So I feel like I should either explore this town fully or just, like, not at all. Whoa. Must be the hunter's quarter. It's a high-tech building. Is this the vault's entrance? Yep, the Imperial City. The Imperial City lies beyond this gate. Exactly. The only civilized place left in this forsaken wasteland. Cool, can I come in? 
Yeah, you and everybody else. Luckily for the dweller of the city, getting inside isn't that easily. Uh, dwellers of the city, getting inside isn't that easy. Are you invited? Nope. In that case, you can forget about entering the city. I have my orders. Goodbye. Come on now, you sure you can make a little exception for me? Hmm. Soldier grins. Perhaps. Depends on how much is an entry into the Imperial City worth to you. I could use some caps, if you know what I mean. Sure like to pay a visit to the Wild Paradise when I'm off duty. Alright, just 500 caps. Okay, deal. You may enter. Before I let you in, there are a few things you must know. Keep your weapons holstered and don't bother the dwellers. Common decency when you're in the city. If you have any questions, ask one of the information robots. Answering nosy questions is what they're there for. But try to leave the people alone. Got it? Okay. Well, I'm certainly not going in yet. What the hell? Oh, <laughs> using a gambling... Uh, what is that, a craps table or something? I don't know what that is. Some sort of a gambling thing from a casino has, like, cover. Okay, I don't see anything that looks obviously like it's where David would be, so I think I'm going to say forget it. Huh. I think I'm just going to say forget it and just explore the town normally, I guess. Unless there's like a quarter I missed? Hmm. Like, where does this go? I don't, I don't know if I went this way. I might just... Yeah, I'm just going in circles. Okay, I'm just gonna explore the town normally, I guess. I'll find the kid at some point. Means I'll probably have to go back to set it on my own. Okay, so back to square one. William wants us to do something. Uh, let's help out the tribe first. And actually, before even that, I want to talk to this person because they look special. The old man pays you no attention. He's staring into space, occasionally mumbling some incoherent words. He does not seem to be in his senses. Erm, who are you? He stops muttering and looks at you with surprise. I don't even want to read this dialogue because it's just so sillily, sillily written. Outsider comes to Shaman Rua. She has disturbed him from seeing spirits of ancestors. I mean, no one talks like that. You can talk to the dead? What do they say? Close to their bones, mix the right herbs, and focus his mind to create a bond to talk to the dead. Tell me about the traditions. Mm -hmm, old traditions, okay. Ancestors give Rua the power to do things that help the tribe. You can heal wounds and look into people's souls. He stops talking and looks you in the eyes. If Outsider gives Rua her hand, he can look into her soul as well. Okay. The shaman stares at your hand for a while, muttering some words that make no sense together. Suddenly, he pulls out a knife from somewhere and cuts your wrist! Um... <laughs> okay, fine, sure. Cool. Keep going. Blood starts seeping from your wound. Rua quickly puts a wooden bowl under it and waits until it's filled. Ew, what the fuck? No. He watches the light reflecting on the surface for a while and drinks, drinks from it. Finally, he turns to you. Rue has seen that Outsider is a good woman who has done many selfless deeds. Ancestors are sure to smile on her in her journey. Uh, thanks. Oh. That increased my health, uh, my luck. That's really good, actually. I mean, it's one of my permanent stats that's been increased. That's excellent. Ew. Fucking ew. I don't like blood. I don't like thinking about blood, and uh, that just creeps me the hell out. Okay. So you got a gecko problem, huh? Uh, how do we get back to this? Yeah, join the hunt. Um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. When's the next hunt? Right now. Let's go. Tough little gecko. 
Guess I'll maybe just snipe. Oh man, that's a lot of geckos. I didn't kill it. Hmm. I think the sniper right now has... Full metal jacket, yeah, so it's not exactly good against non-armored opponents. Okay, maybe I'll snipe with this. See how the accuracy is. Carries out of ammo. Ooh, I forgot to give her the shells. Go, Woofer, go! Woofer's flanking. Not the greatest chance to hit. Let's move a little bit. Oof. That one tribal's taking a lot of damage. Gotta try to save him. Man, come on! Yeah, come on, hit me! Wait, Golden Gecko was critically hit in the groin for 11 hit points. Pain is too much for him and he collapses like a rag. Damn, you just speared a Golden Gecko in the groin. And I missed. What type of ammo do I have loaded in this thing? I thought it was, um, hollow point. Feels like AP. What is it? Yeah, it's hollow point. Alright, well, it's close to me. I'm just gonna burst fire it. Oh god, I hit two of my friends. I'm sorry. Hit tribal for 48 and carry for 31. No, carry for 23. Okay, ho hold on a second. <sighs> they really are gun ho. Which is ironic because they don't have any guns. Kicking the gecko in the face. You, uh, getting up anytime soon? Just taking a nap? Okay. Cool. Thank you. Alright, time to go.
Where did I start? It's gotta be suburbs. Hunters told Gurgen that Outsider has done well. Here's her share. Gives you two golden gecko skins. And if Outsider wants, Gurgen can also teach her to two skin geckos now. Thanks. That should come in handy. Yeah, so now I guess I'll actually have flute on them now. Shows you how to do it. Mm-hmm. Okay. When can I come on another hunt? So you can do it once a day. Okay. So I guess that's something you can do just to kind of earn some money. Man, those are heavy. I wonder how much they're worth. Let's go find out. Don't think this person has any money left. Golden. Oh, 400 caps for two skins. Wow. Okay. Cool. So, Willy, what was that job? Alvarez told me you're looking for someone to get some work done for you. What is it? It's a rather unpleasant thing. I need to have the boss of the local gang removed. His name is Vex. His gang's been causing me nothing but trouble for quite some time now, and lately they seem to have lost all restraint. They've started to interfere with my business, and that must end. The only way to resolve the situation is to have Vex dead. Without his command, the gang will certainly fall apart before long. I'm looking for someone who could make it happen. Sure, I mean, I don't particularly like William, he seems like a bit of a creep, but, um... I mean, the gang's just a bunch of assholes, so sure. If the price is right, I could take care of that. I tend to pay more than well, don't you worry about that. I don't care how you do it, but I have one condition. You must bring me his head. Uh... The hell do you need that for? It will serve as a warning. I will have it put on a stick and displayed in front of my house for everyone to see for themselves how we treat troublemakers around here. No more gangs in the suburb. Yep, okay. Oh, Carrie has something to say about that. Oh, I think we're a bit backed up here. Looks like Frederick's invitation was really a trap. Uh-huh. Okay. What do you think of William? William is a traitor and apparently a good one, given he's been making a profit in the suburbs of Albuquerque, where he's under the pressure of mutant hunters as well as Vex's gang. And on top of that, he's forced to trade with those thick savages. That's it? Oh. Okay. Alright, well, I think that's a pretty good place to end this episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm gonna go take on the Vex Gang. <laughs>